attention, all peasants, fairies, and make-believe things. I'm speaking to you, peasants. Attention, all peasantries. It is I, King Nikocado Avocado. And I'm coming to you from my throne here in my bed. Because I recently just got a heel spur shipped off. And that means I need to recover here in this bed for 17 weeks. Did you hear that, peasants? I'm not leaving this bed for 17 weeks. So if I gain a little bit of water weight, it's your fault. Because why did I get a heel spur in the first place? I did. I asked my doctor, they say, oh, well, sometimes people who eat a lot of unhealthy foods, they can develop different things and a buildup of calcium deposits if they have too much cheese. Discrimination. So as I'm sitting here recovering from my surgeries, I'm talking to Nancy in the firm about how we can whip up a lawsuit to go after that doctor who distressed my life with misinformation. Where the fact check, attention blue hair fact checkers. You never better get on the facts from this doctor or the, the doctor said that I, oh, Subway, I'm a bed bound queen. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. The doctor said that I got my heel spur from too much cheese. Probably from the cellulitis. You don't get a little bad. I actually just took off my cast because my cellulitis was itchy. I got cellulitis on my foot. What would you get me? Um, I got you Diet Coke, your favorite. That's what you drink off camera. Diet? That's why you drink off camera all the time. No, I don't. Orlin, I'm a professional weight loss champ. Don't say that. They know you live off Diet Coke. I'm not putting this in the video. They know. I'm not putting this in the video. Literally, they know. The they uh, know. They can see it on your face. You actually think that drinking that's going to keep you from getting I'm fatter. Not, but not. you're going to get fatter and rounder. Mm -mm. So the doctor said, Alexa, why do people get heel spurs? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, Plantar fasciitis is a common cause of calcaneal spurs. Plantar fasciitis. Sounds like Billie Eilish. It rhymes with cellulitis. Yes, because I have cellulitis. Hi, Billie Eilish. You, round, you, you rhyme with tendiscratiitis. Okay. So, oh, what is in here? Okay. Where's my tray? What am I going to eat on? The floor? Why don't you go to the kitchen and get it? He's going to get it for me because I have a heel spur. Surgeries. It was so hot. I've, okay, we're going to try brand new things that we've never had from Subway before. We got a panini press. Okay. This is called a melt. They have it in the section called melts. Oh, and I got 15% um, off because they're doing a little special. It's called 15 off in the coupon. I don't, I'm not sponsored by this restaurant, by the way. And then it comes to finds out. Have you gained 15 pounds since you got your heel spur? Get the scale. We'll show them I have not. Get the scale. Get the scale. Get the scale. We'll prove to these idiots that if I gained any weight, it's just water. Now, um, what was that? See, I totally forget. F you! Never trying this before. Oh. So we have, yes, I got 15% off. And 15% off a regular foot log sub is only a dollar off. A dollar? So I got three types of sandwiches I've never had before. Oh my god, they labeled it for me. Who was the worker? Huh? Who were they? It's an old lady. An old lady? Yeah. That does not look like old lady right. Actually, it kind of does. Isn't that a sign from Satan? That's supposed to be a P, but when you draw a circle and a line through the middle, isn't that a Satan sign? Uh, it's supposed to say Hamber. It says spinach wrap. <laughs> See, even she don't like to hear about Hello. Hamber in this place. It's spinach wrap. Then what's this one? Then it, so the lady only o labeled one of them. 
They can't see you. I can't wait. This is not about you! Give me the scale that no one cares what you weigh. 286. You've been 286 for like four months. I gained six pounds overnight. I was 280 yesterday. My turn. Hello. Oh, you have to wait room. It's ready. I have to take my time to get down. I have a broken heel. Actually, well, not anymore. You see how well Numa's working for you. Oh, I forgot my cane. AK my mop. I'm gonna need a cane. Please. And thank you to everyone. Okay. I'm still here, lady. Thank you to everyone. My Patreon, my patrons support me emotionally and financially. They keep the show running. The show must go on. Thank you to every I live streamed the uh, the hospital. Oh, it's your cane. Ah! Uh, <coughs> God, cheapers. Hello. Wait. It's ready. Ah, ah, scrapers, Ouch! 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 Stop! I'm giving you a boost. Stop! I don't need a boost. You need a booster seat. I don't need it. Oh, Goodbye. Really. I have to eat my food. I want to eat it cold. These are hot paninis. Oh, you'll still eat it. Ouch! 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 Take the camera so they can see me. Now I have to. Ouch! Ouch. Ouch. Keep in mind, he Ouch. has a heel spur. It's ready. I can have to stand on one foot, so ouch. My eyes are up here. Excuse me. <gasps> you lost I weight. I lost 10 pounds. It's all the stress. Oh my goodness. I do see it. I do see your fupa's hanging a little higher. I'm um, skinny. I lost 10 pounds, you guys. That's what surgery does. Ouch, put it, put it back. Put it back, ouch. Well, you did get a little lymphedema on the car ride, but you got over that. Give it reach back. Ouch. Sometimes he gains weight on car rides. <sighs> wow, so can you turn the camera slightly this way? Slightly. The whole thing? Yeah. There? A little bit more. Stop. Goodbye. Okay. Bye to you too, lady. All right. Let's feast on this brand new Subway BRB. Please be on uh, standby. What am I, your nurse? I am not your nurse. What do you mean be on standby? Why do you mean be on standby? Who do you think I am? Do you get paid 50% of this? I get paid nothing. Home? I just get cleaned up yes, by the fat queen you, you are. do. You take 50% of what of I make on- Of the food. Of the leftovers. Of the check. Of the food. Of the check. Hi peasants, you should never see a king and a queen ever argue. Put these down over here. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna try my subway. I've never had these before. I'm really excited. And they gave me a subway bag. That's a first. Wow. Unlike, where did we go yesterday? TGI Fridays. They gave us trash bags from China. Chinese, cheap, cheap Chinese bags that you get at the, the fortune cookie. And that is the name of an actual buffet in New York. Because I used to work at it. The fortune cookies. I also, I also used to work at a place called McDonald's. Okay, we're gonna try, let's try with the old, actually let's do the hot one first. Cause I like it hot. I'm really excited, I've never had a hot sandwich from this place. Ooh, it's greasy AF. It's greasy AF. Oh my gosh, it's swimming in grease, can you see? Probably not. Oh my God. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. This is 
is a Subway melt. Spicy Italian with uh, roasted peppers, roasted onions, extra provolone cheese. I had them put olive oil all over it. Mmm. There's the provolone cheese. Oh, that's why it's greasy, because I asked for the oil. Mmm. Uh -huh. Mm. Click the link below to follow my Patreon. You'll get exclusive weekly videos about my life, plus tons of mukbangs not allowed on YouTube. Link below. Mmm. That is a beautiful flavor. All I get is paper towels like a peasant. Where are my vitamins? The Russians are here. What do you need? I need my vitamins, please. I said in British so you could understand. Vitamins. I need two. I need the, the black circle. And the insulin? Not the insulin. And what else? And a little packet of vitamin C powders for my health. You have none of that left. Yes, we do. It's the raspberries. I'm in health. You have no health left. Cheapers. Cheapers, creepers. Fiddlesticks. I do like Diet Coke, I guess. Okay, we're gonna do a poll on my page. A Nick Ocado poll. Comment down below right now. Pepsi or Coke? Which one are you? This was actually surprisingly amazing. Let's try my spinach wrap, which I've never had. Ooh, oh my gosh, they even gave me spinach. Water. I have soda. Water's gonna make me get too much sweating. Oh yeah, you're low. There's no here. room. Here. I can't reach. You're gonna have to pick those up. Ugh. Getting flashbacks to PE when they used to they used to throw balls at me. I I tried catching like this. They would make fun of me. Can you tell them about your gym teacher, the one that inspired you to look like this? Oh. I have a story time for you guys. Oh my god. So I had a teacher. I'm not going to say her name. But I remember it. Mrs. It was a very funny name. Bup, bup, bup. Those three syllables. Bup, bup, bup. Mrs. Bup, bup, bup. So we're going to call her Paper Towel. Paper Towel. Mrs. Paper Towel. She was this big. She was that big. No straws. She, she was big, 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 big lady. And she was very proud of it. She had short hair, like right here, but it was like a bowl, it was like nice and round. She kind of looked like Sia. Have you ever seen Sia's wig? She looked like Sia's wig, except she was twice my size. Very thick, thick American, American hair, like from a dairy ranch. She looked like she belonged on a dairy ranch, like she drank all the milk and cheese. She was a big, big lady. Mrs. Paper Towel. That's not funny enough. Let's call her Pumpin' Snickles. There we go. Because those are really funny name. Beep, beep, beep. Mrs. Beep, beep, beep. Her name was Pumpin', Pumpin Snickles. Mrs. Pumpin' Snickles had little mop hair. Very straight. Very thick and coarse. Dirty blonde. Her skin was white as snow. Very thick, thick, buttery skin. 
and she was like five thousand pounds. Okay, let's put up a real number. I'm actually really bad at Cajun weight. She, let's try the spinach first. I'm a little bit scared. Okay, but guess what? She was my gym teacher, right? Obese, obese, and this is what she used to do. Oh my god, that's so delicious. This spinach wrap, this is the rotisserie chicken spinach wrap with spinach, black olives, ranch sauce, extra mozzarella cheese, and oil. Mmm. 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 So, Mrs. Pumpkin Snickles. She was the health and PE teacher, depending on which grade. So, in ninth grade, <clears throat> she was your health teacher. In 12th grade, she was the PE teacher. Sometimes you saw her every year for health classes or PE classes. So she taught you your whole way going up. I went to a very, very, very tight school. There's like 30 kids in my class. Literally, it was basically in a barn, but let me tell you what happened. So at health class, she would stand in front of the room and she was teaching us about beers and whiskeys and wines and my favorite, vodka, uh, which I haven't had for so many years. She was teaching us that it's naughty, 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 don't do it, especially if you drive, naughty, 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 in this country, if you have a little too much at, at uh, dinner with your children at Applebee's and you accidentally hit a car and the person ends up dying, you go to jail, even if it was an accident. And you're not a bad person. And so she really scared us with that, which I think is a good thing. There has to be a lot of extra responsibility because when you're impaired and you take a vehicle and you're going out smashing people, you have to be responsible, even if it was an accident. It's kind of sad. It's kind of, there's a channel here on YouTube called, uh, shit, what was it? She had dreads. She talked about how she was, she was locked up in jail, in prison. She was locked up and there's a lady there for like 10 years because she accidentally, she had too much wine at Red Robins with her children. She got in the car, the, the mom van, and she accidentally hit something and that something was a person and the person passed away and then she had to go bye bye for 10 years or maybe 12 years, 12 years for an accident. So in ninth grade, Mrs. Pumpkin Schnickles tells all, the, all of us, don't drink too much. And she used to say, but I, because it's all about blood volume, alcohol, blood volume. She's like, I could have five beers at the restaurant and be okay. And what? And she would go to class, well, why can Mrs. Pumper Schnickel have more beers? Class? And the class would be go, because you have more blood volume. Yes. And she's like, exactly. So if you're a big girl like me, you can have more to drink. Okay. Yes. Okay. So she was really bragging about how she could have more to drink at dinner. Really bragging about it, you guys. Like, just, she was so proud. She's like, I could have six beers because Mrs. Pumpkin Schnickel's got a big body. Huh. Mm. And then, 11th grade or 12th grade rolls around, I have her again as my PE teacher. And we have to do sit-ups part of her grade you have to do 25 jumping jacks 25 pull-ups 25 sit-ups 25 push-ups and 25 sit-ups and um, usually the gym teacher will do a demonstration on a proper sit-up here's the correct form to use students here's the correct form okay mm. except we never got that with Mrs. Pump and Schnickles. We never got a proper form. And she's saying, okay, part of your grade class, she's looking at her little, uh, her little notebook, her little, uh, clip, clipboard. <coughs> Nikocado, it's your turn. 25 push-ups, 25 sit-ups, go. I'm like, I don't know how to do one, Mrs. Pump and Schnickles. I've never been taught. Could you, can you teach us? Can you give us a demonstration? And she got all red and she's like, you know how to do a sit-up. And I said, no, I don't. 
I'm, I'm ignorant. You're the teacher. Teach me. Teach me how, Mrs. Pumpkin Schnickles. And so she goes in the back. We're sitting in the gymnasium. She goes, in the, we're like, where is she? She just walked out. We're like, wow, class is over. No. Mrs. Pumpkin Schnickles, all, she comes with this, this cart. It's like this high with wheels. And she's, we hear, first we hear it squeak, squeak, squeak. <coughs> These squeaky wheels coming down the hallway. She's about to come into the gymnasium. We're like, is that Mrs. Pump Pumpkin Schnickles? Here she comes pushing a cart with a TV on it. Okay, class. Pay attention. Can everyone see the screen? Okay, yes. Okay, let me put in my DVD. Burp. And the DVD's like, and, all of, and she's pointing at it. And then all of a sudden, you see these like vintage 1970s gym bunnies. These guys and girls with these like neon uh, gym active wear, these stockings and leggings that are bright blue and bright pink. And you hear that old 1960s like, and she's like this okay class this is how you do a sit up watch this young lady right here and she's over it's like this skinny 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 i remember she was black she had a she was a black lady she had on pink stockings and like this blue jumper with these little sweatbands around her hair and she was like oh, two and the music's going. Mrs. Pumpkin Schnickles. You're going to teach us how to do sit ups from the TV? You are our health teacher. You are our PE teacher. You are. You're supposed to show us. She showed us through the TV, so through some vintage tape. And uh, we all thought it was kind of funny at the time. <clears throat> but you know that saying, qualifications for a job? You hear this all the time in politics now, which I won't get into. Who's qualified for this? Who's qualified for that? I don't know. I think if you're 400 pounds, you're not really that qualified to be instructing gym class. Is that a problem? Is it discriminatory? Or is that just... That's just the skill you need. I don't know. You tell me. Should PE teachers be required to be in shape? Listen, to be a mukbanger, you have to have a big appetite. If you don't have one, you're gonna fail. No one's gonna watch you. To be a YouTuber, you have to be dramatic. You have to be a liar, or no one's gonna watch you. To be, uh, I don't know, a scuba diver. You have to be able to hold your breath and know how to play with the animals or you're going to die. I mean, these are just skills you need to do these jobs. It's not discrimination. Not everyone will do everything. If you're really large and in charge like me and like Mrs. Pumpkin Schnickles, don't teach PE. <sighs> All right, let's see what this one is. Oh, that's the, that's one I've already had before. We're going to try this one. Is this another wrap? Oh, I got another wrap. Oh, it's so oily. Oh, this is brand new. It's it's new on the website. It's called Subway Spicy Italian. Oh, shit. What's it called? BMT, B, BNT, TNT, something. Basically, it has ham. Mmm. Are you cheating? Not right now. No, you you are. I'm just planning the next time I do. It just no. You shouldn't be looking at people's Instagrams. <clears throat> so Orlin found this guy on Instagram, and then he texts me. He's like, he's he starts texting me. 
photos and screenshots from this guy's Instagram saying, why don't you look like this? This guy has a widow's peak. He has six pack, beautiful chest. Apparently he was telling me he's part of some, uh, oh, I can't see the word on YouTube. Let's just say like a club where people like to be free, if you know what I mean. Ah, free out at the beach, going to these beaches where you can be extra free. You know what I'm saying? There's a special beach where you can be extra free at. And so, and then he was posting it on his Twitter. And then Orlin starts sending me screenshots. He's like, why don't you look like this? Look at him. He'd look at, oh, look at his friends. I'm a little triggered, actually. I'm a little upset. I don't like to hear that he's attracted to these people. Shine bright like a diamond. I don't like to hear it. Especially if he's more attractive than me. He is. Nicer body. I, th well, <laughs> I think we're about the same in the, de in the department down there. Yeah. Mine's slightly thicker. But he's not a famous mukbanger, so we're gonna get out of him. Ah, uh, let's not think about that. I'm really triggered. He was sending me photos of his page. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. This spinach rotisserie chicken one, I added sauce. I forget what I added. I think it's the honey mustard, honey mustard sauce in here. Yeah, honey mustard. And I also added regular mustard too and oil. Sorry. This one's so good. Mmm. You know, I will say a little something. I'll try not to say it very much of often. Because, you know, people like my channel to escape the real world. And I don't talk about politics. But this is not really... I mean, I guess it is, in a way, for, like, how to deal with it. But there's only so much you can do as well when it's not even your own country. But y'all know, I was adopted from a certain part of the world that's currently in some hot doo-doo. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, wow, could you imagine if I never left that country? I'd be stuck in the middle of a war zone! Could you imagine me stuck in the middle of a... Apparently they say the Ukrainians are going to fight back ferociously unexpectedly so like to like to everyone's surprise they're gonna defend their huts defend their shacks defend their cribs for fiercely like they will to the bitter bloody and like ferocious like where did this come from like get out of my house you know with like broomsticks and bats get out of my house It's in my spirits and my bones, you know, to be ferocious and fierce. Get out of the house. It's not your house. Get your own house. You have a big enough freaking house. Get your own house. Ugh. Like, get your own house. You already have enough of a house, you greedy, greedy pig. Mmm.
Okay. And I'm gonna try what I always get. An Italian, spicy Italian. Mmm. <laughs> Mom. That's on a garlic, no, a Parmesan cheese, cheese and herb bread. Oh, man. If I was still in that part of the world, I'd probably have a wife and 15 children. <laughs> Could you imagine? I don't like the I don't like the thoughts of these things. <clears throat> That's fifteen little responsibilities. <clears throat> Beat all of them. <sighs> fifteen responsibilities. I think not. Oh man, I'd be one poor peasant over there. Could you imagine? No money out of feed 15 kids. Mm. Who knows what I'd be doing? I don't know. Something in the arts, maybe. Would I be fat? Maybe. You know, being fat is not all about what you eat. So it's about your metabolism. There are people that I know in my life, near and dear to my life, that are my size or bigger, and they don't eat that much food. They don't. They barely eat. Or if they do, it's not that much. It's because they've destroyed their metabolism. But, or they have a messed up thyroid, so you know, maybe Mrs. Pumper Schnickles. Maybe she had a bad metabolism. Oh, she lived off pickles and rye bread. I don't know. But I do know people in my life that eat way less than me and that are three times bigger. Not three times, but an extra hundred pounds. Maybe the same weight as me. Maybe they're like 250 and overweight. It's like all you eat is like a thousand calories a day. How are you gaining weight? <clears throat> so. When you eat less food, you're more likely to gain wet, more weight. Did you know this? Because your metabolism. That's why I stick most viewers watching this video on my lifestyle of a diet. And they'll join me in the 300s in a matter of two months. Literally. I've been doing this for six years. Six years straight of daily. And I only gained 100, uh, 200 pounds. Yeah. By accident, by the way. Not on purpose, it just happened by accident. But you know what I mean. Stick you, yes, you, Ashley, peasant Ashley, watching this video, stick you on my lifestyle, you'd meet me in the 300s in a matter of five months. Guar guaranteed. Guaranteed. It took me five years. So let's just throw that out there. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Mm. All this is really good. I was really blown away by this wrap the most. Let's go back to this melt. Mmm. This has the the vinaigrette sauce. Oh man. I'm telling you, sauce can make or break an experience. I'm thinking to myself now, I added extra sauce on every sandwich right now. Every single one has extra sauce. And not even things that come with it automatically. Spicy Italian comes with no sauce. I added extra mayo, extra oil, extra vinaigrette sauce, extra chipotle sauce. E you know, not all those, but you know what I mean? I picked from. This one has a vinaigrette, extra vinaigrette sauce. It's delicious. Extra mayo, a little ranch sauce, and extra olive oil. It's not even olive oil, it's some other type of oil. 
This one had um, extra hu uh, honey mustard sauce with some mustard sauce, ranch sauce. This one had chipotle sauce with extra mayo. You see? Mm. Sweet honey mustard is so good. With the melted cheese, the black olives. Oh! <laughs> I do not miss PE class at all. At all. I used to love when I used to get scheduled. <clears throat> Um, in high school, I would get scheduled to do like violin little lessons with the, the orchestra teacher. The gym teachers don't care, especially Mrs. Pump and Schnickles. So she's like, okay, bye. I will show her a little thing, be like, I have lesson today, a violin lesson, I have a lesson. Because they schedule at random times. You have to miss a class in order to go to your lesson. Which can be kind of like good for some things and then kind of bad for others. Like, I have to really be in this class because we're on chapter five of Hansel and Gretel. We're trying to figure out the story here. I have to write a book report. I need all the answers, I need to take notes. I don't wanna play my little sectionals, little lesson. You know, it would it will rotate every week. But every couple every couple weeks, you have to, or actually it's tw once or twice a month to go over orchestra. I loved my orchestra stuff. But sometimes, I would say I have a lesson when I really did it. And the gym teachers never cared. Because what is there to learn besides how to do a sit-up, which who cares? There's nothing to learn here. <laughs> There's really not. And the gym teachers know this. Hence, you know, Mrs. Pump and Schnickel. Rolling out a TV, pointing at the screen to show people how to do a step. So, literally. She was, you know, the, you know that famous lady on YouTube that took the step up the curb? She was her size. She was literally her size. Literally. Y'all know, the famous, famous lady on YouTube that took a step up a curb. And was so proud of herself. That was Mrs. Pumper Schnickel, the gym, the gym and health teacher. Yep. That was Mrs. Pumper Schnickel. Literally that size. Literally. Anyways, I have a bug bite here. Oof, how are the, where are the bugs coming from? Oof, I hate bug bites. They creep me out. Anyways, so yeah, I used to I, I used to miss like half my PE classes because I blamed it on orchestra rehearsals. But I, no, it's the funny thing is, I didn't just like skip anything. I would actually go to the orchestra room, grab my violin and practice something because I love playing violin. I could play it for hours and hours and never stop. It never got old. <clears throat> never got boring, ever. No, it was never boring. There was always something to learn or improve upon. And then sometimes I would just play because I'd love to hear my, my own notes come out. It was really cool. You put your fingers like this and you hear nice stuff. It's like, wow, it's fun. Yeah, so I, what would I get in P? What was I graded? Probably like B minuses all the way through. It was never A's. I mean, sometimes. Actually, the only way you could really get knocked off points in PE is like if you didn't bring your uniform. If you didn't bring up your uniform, you lost two points. Lost two points. You go three, four weeks without your uniform, boom, you just went down half a letter grade. It was, it was more about teaching people responsibility, you know? And for some people, you know, changing in front of others was really hard for them. I didn't really mind it. I actually, no, I did. I did not like that at all. I used to wear an undershirt on the days where I had PE, because I didn't want people to see anything. I, I would get very nervous. So I would wear an undershirt, so I'd check. Ew, is that gross? Yeah. Yeah, I did not like that aspect at all. Now that I really think about it. I'd always go in the corner and kind of hide with all the other losers. Like there's, you go down the, the locker room, right? And you have like, the popular people, the really fit and shape people, more popular people, more fit and shape people. And then on the last bay of lockers, you had the losers and the really, really fat people. Yeah, we all stayed in our corner, out the way. 
We didn't want to be made fun of. We didn't want to be looked at. I was in that corner, all in, up in that corner, with my undershirt on, not wanting it to be seen. Yeah, I know people are watching this and they're starting to like shake. There's a lot of people who have like PTSD from PE. I'm sure of it. I I guarantee I'm gonna see comments tonight like Nick. Please change this up. I'm literally thinking about my PE to class now. I can't sleep. It was really hard for me. Yeah. It can be really difficult. Everyone's staring and judging your bodies. Ugh, I hated it. I hated it so bad. And this is really before I really knew my uh, orientation, if you know what I mean. I mean, I knew it, but... It wasn't until like my last year of school that I really knew who I was. So like, I mean, I had girlfriends in freshman and sophomore year. So I was there in the locker room. I, I had girlfriends and I'd just be changing, not looking. I was very uncomfortable with all that. I was not into either actually. I was only into my violin. That's the only thing I want to make babies do, my violin. All right, I care about the girls, really. Hmm. Taking my vitamins, so I'm healthy. It's the only thing you swallow. Sure. It's true. <sighs> so yeah, in that time period, I was not really into the boys, and I was not really into the girls either. I was just into my violin. And like, there are so many times where. Um, like it was just like a free day in geometry class or algebra. Oh, heck yes. I had a lesson to go to. Bye. Bye-bye. I, I, I got scheduled for this time period. Yep, I have to go play my violin. And they would just say, peace out. We, don't want, we won't miss you. We won't think about you. We don't care about you. Leave. I never had a, I never had a teacher be like, you need to be here. Because you need to hear my lesson. And my speech that I've prepared to give to the class. You know, some teachers love hearing themselves talk. Where they prepare these these monologues for the class. And they want everyone to hear how great they are. I had some really, really arrogant teachers. Oh, man. Mrs. Pumpkin Schnickles. I think I changed her name like four times in this video. Did I say Pumpkin Strudel? <laughs> what did I call her at first? So, Mrs. Paper Towel, Paper Towels, yeah, that's dumb. Her name was so funny sounding, and she looked very funny. She looked like how most the outside world views American women. <laughs> like, big and fat. Big and fat with a lot of complaints coming out their mouth. That's how, like, listen, I'm married to someone from Colombia. I've lived in Asia for a quarter of my life. South America, Central America. Half my friends in college were from Serbia, Hungary, um, Fr uh, Turkey, France. Like, I've had a lot of outside view influence in my ear from people around me. Yeah, they think we're all fat, you guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh. Uh, can you believe it? Yes. I don't know why. Mmm. You know what's so funny today? I kind of went like, I only got four sandwiches. <laughs> and I ate a lot. <laughs> and I only got four sandwiches. I'm gonna finish this one. This, this was my ding, 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 ding winner. The spinach wrap has rotisserie chicken, has honey mustard sauce with mustard sauce, ranch, uh, extra mozzarella cheese, like I said, rotisserie chicken, cucumber, onion. Is there cucumber? Yes. And there's uh, a couple green peppers and there's lots of black olives on a spinach wrap. It's so good. The sauce makes it. That 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 sweet honey mustard. Ah. 
Mais genre. I hope it goes away. This jaw problem that I ever that I developed after the beep beep beep. I hope it goes away. <clears throat> Who do I blame if it doesn't? I don't know. My jaw. The muscles get so tense. Well, I hope you like my little story times today. Ah, oh, Subway was good. And I need, I need to go on a weight loss journey. Well, I'm already on one, I know, but I mean, like, we gotta try again. Oh. Ah. I'm failing Weight Watchers, everyone. Don't look. Ah. <clears throat> what's my dietitian having me on now? Let's try to keep up here. My dietitian, what's the, uh... Let me ask her, I'll just text her. Okay. Hi, Amber. I'm a Kamita. What diet are you on now? Let's see what she says. <clears throat> because of whatever diet she's on, she puts me on, you know, because I hired her, so. So I can have great weight loss. Oh, she's fast. Intuitive eating, I knew it. Okay, well. I'm bigger than my tray. That's how fat I am. Of water, wait. Okay, she says I, I use an app to track my intuitive thoughts. Really, not your journal? Okay. Okay, we've upgraded from journal to app. <sighs> she just loves to spend. I get it, lady. Intuitive Eating Express, here we go. Well, I think I'm done this video. Um, and you're all thinking, how many more days are we going to see you in bed? Well, tomorrow is Monday. It's the last day of my uh, little, you know. We start out on Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. We have to get our Monday in there. We forgot Monday. <clears throat> so I don't know what to eat for Monday. Excuse me, it has to start with an M. Mukbang Monday? That's dumb. I want a food. Uh, munchings? Munch, munch, midget, mun, midget Monday? Oh, that sounds bad. <laughs> Could you back? What, am I going to eat it? Oh, God. Here we go with the drama. Um, moochin, moochie, mooch Monday. I don't know. Munchy, mustard Monday. Mm -mm. Monkey Monday. I don't know. We need to figure out what to have for Monday. And then... <sighs> this one's really tasty, but I'm full, you guys. Okay. I'm full. 
But thank you for watching my video. Thank you for all your thoughts and prayers. Yes, I do have a lot of pain going on. And yes, it is real. Um, I try to make it comical because, hey, this is my job. I post every day. So when the sh it, you know what hits the fan. Uh, now I have something new to talk about in my video. <laughs> Might as well make the best of it, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I have lost 10 pounds, though, so that's how you know this is real. When I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Wow. Three, but what is it though? 350? Ugh. I never thought I'd be 350 pounds. I also can't believe it too sometimes. I'm like, do I really look like I'm 350 pounds? Sometimes you kind of like lose your self-awareness. Like, I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, I look fine. And then Orland sneaks a photo of me when I'm not paying attention. He's just sitting on the couch, I'm in the kitchen. He's like this, zooming in. Like from my side, my hunchback, and he, and then he'll text it to me, that idiot. And then I'll look at it. I'm like, that's me. Don't show me. Like, I'm fat. I'm big. I'm so big. I'm like, that's me. Sometimes you have to see it from like. Not your own eyes. A photo. Get photos of yourself. Oh, man. Get photos of yourself. And then you can you can see where you're at. But I don't feel like I'm that big. But anyways, I am in the 350s. And I uh, don't know why. I don't know. These things happen. But thanks for watching. I didn't really eat that much today. I only had two whole sandwiches. I had the entire wrap. I had half of the grilled one, exactly half of the other wrap, and almost half of the sub. So let's say a thousand calories, a thousand calories. I probably had 2,400 calories in front of you. That's more than what people eat in a day. For some, not all, some. And I already had three breakfast burritos today, and I had tricks. I haven't had tricks forever. I got some from the grocery store. All right, well, I'm gonna have dinner, but thanks for watching. I'll see you later, people, peasants. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying it, and get yourself a classic Nick Avocado Avocado t-shirt that's stretchy and doesn't chip or fade away. Nice quality. It's bougie. It's pricey. I know. But it costs a lot to make because, I mean, look at this. <clears throat> so, link down below. Limited edition. You guys know we were out for three whole weeks after Christmas. Everyone bought everything. We restocked. We're starting to get low on some items. First come, first serve. So, make sure you get yourself something to keep forever and to support my weight loss journey. <laughs> Go to It's Just Water Weight. Dot com link down below and I'll see you guys on my website and I'll see you tomorrow because we never stop do we we never stop we never stop we're getting fat and we don't know why no we don't hi it's me I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video and an even bigger thank you to my executive producers, Jamie Baby Cotto, Princess Abby, and C. Butter. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown-up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only and new openings become available on a first come first serve basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. If you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.